I'm Nancy Kaufman, and I wanted to talk today about the uh, Mutt Family Language Builder materials because they were meant for children who struggle to combine consonants and vowels to form words, and especially for those children who are now forming some words or approximations, but helping them to move into two and three word combinations for expressive language. So I'm sure that you know about the Mutt family themselves, but the reason for their names is that most of their names have a simple bisyllabic syllable shape pattern, such as Mona, Toby, Buddy, Moppy. Some of them have a pattern that's a little bit easier, such as Bobby, Nani, and Poppy, where only the consonants stay the same and the vowels change. But we need a lot of practice on those simple bisyllabic words, and this is a way to use those words as subjects, moving into subject, verb, object, telegraphic language at first, until we can start to push in more grammatical skills to help children move into language um, without taxing the motor system. So um, the board is created to have verbs on them that follow Kit 1 materials. Um, kit 1 only has m, b, p, t, d, n, and h, and combinations of those simple consonants and vowels into different syllable shapes. So we wanted the verbs to also match that simple shape, such as put on or bite. Here's eat, win, bump, paint, um, tie, pop, hop, wipe, hit, and nap. And how about pin, toot, dump, dip, pet, and open. And so the children can then start to work on some verbs and start to combine uh, subject, verb, object to create some telegraphic language at first. So each of the different mutt families, uh, little um, magnetic materials, have the uh, Mutt family name on it so that they can start to match um, some other cards with this for literacy purposes. But we're going to take, um, here's Betty, and maybe we're going to have her um, blow bubbles with Wendy. So we can find a paw print and place her there, and then we can even find some bubbles for her. And then once she has them, we can say, Betty, blow bubbles. And if the child doesn't have the BL blend, then we can help them simplify that motor plan by saying bow, reducing the, the blend or the cluster. So we can then say, say Betty, bow bubbles. Yes, Betty is blowing bubbles. And we always want to model correctly, even the grammar, so that children can hear what's correct. But when we're helping them, we have to help them with their best approximations and simplify the motor plan for a while until in our sessions, we, make, we help them to, to reach perfection. So here's um, another one. Here comes um, Moppy. And let's have Moppy put on his hat. So he's going to come up here. And we'll find a hat. And then we can help the children say, Moppy, put on hat. So other aspects of the uh, Mud Family Practice Puzzle is to, um, to work on a little bit of literacy. So here's a card that says, find the truck. And the truck is in bold. So once we find the truck, the children match up those words. If they can't read, that's fine, because it's really a visual matching task. And then we can do something with the truck. Oh, who's going to push the truck? Maybe Abby wants to push the truck. And then it's Abby, puh, truck. Or we maybe have to say tuck for truck, but we have to find their best approximations for that particular phrase. And then this card is about Dottie. So each of the cards that are about one of the Mutt family have their picture on the front. So we know that we're going to find Dottie. And this one says, and have her pop bubbles. So we find Dottie, and we put her over here. And then we talk about Dottie pop bubbles. Sometimes the visual field is just too much uh, stimulation for certain children, and we have to narrow the field. So that's where we have a little easel to go with the Mutt Family Practice Puzzle, the, the language builder. And we can take one piece at a time. Then we can work on pivot phrases. These are phrases that remain constant, while we only have to change up one word. So then we can take Moppy. And then we can say, Moppy, put on hat. But then we can change up Moppy to another Mutt Family. Uh, puppy. Here's Heidi. And then we can say, Heidi, put on hat. 
And so they'll have plenty of opportunity to work on the pivot phrase put on. Mutt, the Mutt family um, language builder also is wonderful for receptive language. So we can help the children to follow many directions such as, why don't you find Moppy and have him throw a ball? And then they would follow the directions, place them, and talk about what Moppy's doing, Moppy throw ball. And that throw, T-H-R, again, we might have to um, simplify to toe or dough, depending upon what's in the child's repertoire, only as a temporary way to help them to say the word throw till we work on perfection in our sessions. How about find um, Betty and have her hug her baby doll? And maybe we'd like to put her in the hammock over here, and she can then hug her baby doll. And then we talk about Betty is hugging her baby doll. Betty, hug baby, um, and simplify that task for the children so that they can produce the subject verb object. Again, we can go into all sorts of grammar. If they're at a higher level of grammatical skills, we can say, she is hopping for the pronoun. She is hopping on her board for the pronoun possessive agreement. How about, she? just she is hopping for the present progressive, or... Um, how about third person singular verbs? She hops on the board. And we can also work on past tense by adding that auxiliary verb was. She was hopping on the board. We can also work on prepositional phrases. Where is, happy, where is Heidi hopping? On her board. Or where is uh, Patty sitting? On the bench. Um, so there's lots of opportunity to work on all sorts of grammatical skills with the uh, Mud family uh, um, language builder. When we're putting away the whole, um, when we're putting away all of the pieces, we can have the children follow some categories. How about find all the boy doggies? Find all the girls? Can you find all the toys? Or how about put away um, Bobby who's painting? Um, also embedded in the puzzle are um, two syllable plus monosyllabic phrases from Kit One. Honey pot, panda bear, how about tabletop, paddle boat, pony ride? And they can practice those two syllable plus monosyllabic phrases as well. So of course there's motor speech planning types of activities on the board and there's also receptive and expressive language to practice. So I hope you enjoy the Mutt Family uh, Language Builder and if you ever have any questions about it, feel free to contact me.